What is up, Dirty Combs? Uh, me and the buddy Jesus, uh, plural would be uh, Jesue, plural Jesuis, <laughs> are hanging out. Uh, I just got this dude made this for me in San Antonio. Super duper awesome. I'm pretty stoked. Um, so I thought I would share it with you. Uh, now on to the things I'm not super stoked on. Um, oh, so I had this conversation with this guy today and he, he looked scared. He was about to go into hot yoga and he was like sitting there all timid. And I was like, you know, if you go into the room early, you know, you get used to the heat. It's not that bad. And he's like, I wait to the last minute and then I go in. And he, and he gives me this thing about his jeans aren't made for whatever. I, the jeans thing is what pissed me off. Because yesterday I was listening to an NPR uh, interview with uh, the guy who had the Charlottesville uh, well, riot. Like, <laughs> it was supposed to be like a parade or something um, for Caucasian rights. Um, so anyway, so that guy, and he starts talking about um, genes and DNA and White people are smarter. Chinese people are smarter. I just... Even this genes and DNA crap of like... Anyway. Alright. So I'm five foot nothing. Right? I'm too short for this fucking ride. But the words too short for this fucking ride do not exist in my vocabulary. So my genes say one thing. But my mind and spirit and soul and heart say another thing. And that's what you gotta do to be a PJ. Can't let... Well, I got bad DNA. No, you know what? Every day the instructors told me I had bad DNA. They're like, Maroney, you fucking suck. What kind of DNA? Your fucking DNA sucks. You can't reach a fucking pull-up bar. You fucking... Blah, 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 blah. Like, all day long. That's all I heard. Who you else ordered? And I would just smile at them. And they would just be like, your DNA is so bad, you didn't even know you fucking don't belong here. I mean, all day long. But... It was well, maybe it was personal, but I don't think it was personal, uh, and I didn't believe it anyway. So why let something like DNA stop you from doing what you want to do? Do the body achieves what the mind believes. Uh, firm believer in that. You know, if you want something, you can uh, get it. You just have to want it bad enough. Um, that's it. How bad do you want something? You know, don't be afraid of indoc going away and now it's a blah, blah, blah. Who cares? doesn't change anything or the way you do. You prepare, 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 and then you come here and you kick ass. Or you get your ass kicked, but you stay in the fight. And you're like, oh, you know, knock down, get back up. Beat down, get back up. Kick down, get back up. Kicked in the face, swim faster. You know, don't be... Don't be that guy or girl or dirty scurvy cone letting your DNA say what you can or can't do. What kind of bullshit's that? <sighs> um, although, listen to your parents if they tell you to be good. <laughs> You're so contradicting. How do you live with yourself? I don't know. It's, it's a hard, hard thing to be the abyss. But it's all right. Don't worry, there are other people with worse conditions, so it's not that bad. So train hard, be smart, or as smart as you can, because you are dirty cones. Um, love life for everything you got. Catch as many waves as you can. I had a very interesting thought, and I'll, I'll leave you with this. So I'm a big wave rider, like it's my thing. And I equate everything, you know, life's a wave, riding a wave, ride that wave till it crashes milk that wave and then you know you do whatever you gotta do ride a wave well <clears throat> somebody said that sadness could be a wave and it just kind of instead of maybe riding it it kind of one of those waves that washes over you and through you and it you know it is what it is sometimes you know it's okay to be sad because it waves are big and waves are small and waves are good and waves are bad and somebody dies or you know um oh and to give credit that was a uh, sublime playing at the palace theater live um 
love Sublime. Bradley died in August uh, 95. Good God, that was a long time ago. Um, but you want to check out some pretty good music? Sublime, highly recommended. So, hope you guys are good. Hope you enjoyed your week. Hope your weekend's doing well. And um, thanks for listening. Work hard.